So in this lecture, we're going to take a huge step in terms of learning how to code. We're going to move into one of what they call the pillars of programming, and this is classes and objects. So you'll only find classes and objects on what we called object-oriented programming. So that basically is programming but oriented to objects. And when I say oriented to objects, it doesn't have anything to do with game objects, right? Of course, this is some special application. But when I was learning uh, how to code, I thought that oriented to objects mean that it was oriented to game objects, you know, uh, oriented to any object that was in our, in our scene. This This is not exactly what's happening here. And we're going to define um, exactly what an object means and what a class means. So first of all, we're going to move into some example here that I, that I drew for you. Okay, so let's say I have a form. It's, it's not a special kind of form, it's just a regular form. Maybe you have one of those in your university, in your inner job because you need to fill it for some kind of reason you know maybe you're applying for for something and most of the times you need to fill a form it doesn't really matter if it's like a, a digital form or maybe it's a paper form but we have a form here we're not specifying what type of form it is we just have a few fields that you can insert your information on and here you can see that we have this form and we have a note. It says, please make a copy before filling anything. Okay, so um, if I want to go right on and maybe insert my name here, so I'm going to put my name, this is not allowed because I'm saying here, please make a copy before filling anything. So this is what we called our master form, which we can uh, also call a template. So on a template, you're not going to fill anything. You're going to use this as a base to fill forms that you're going to use later, okay? So this is not to be filled, okay? So question number one, can I fill my information in the master form, also known as a template? No, I cannot. I need to make a copy first because it says in this note, right? Question two, and how do I make such a copy? That's easy. Just go at maybe staples and you make a copy of this form. Okay, so now let's say that I made this copy of my form, so this copy came from this template. Okay, so now I have my copy, and once I have my copy, I'm allowed to fill my information in here. Okay, so let's say that I want to I want to insert my name here. Maybe I want to I want to insert a random ID. It doesn't it doesn't need to follow any kind of you know real life rule. I'm just going to insert. Uh, maybe some random numbers followed by a letter. Let's say that this is my ID, or maybe just numbers for 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 simplification here. Let's put a value for my age, maybe an address, which I'm not gonna not gonna insert here. Maybe a city. Let's say that I live in Vancouver, and looks like I don't know how to type Vancouver, and country. It's gonna be Canada or can be, you know, whatever you want, okay? So this is, of course, a copy of this form. And since I made a copy, you can see that this node disappeared, and now I'm allowed to fill my information in here, okay? So this is something very important that you have to keep in your mind. You cannot interfere in any value of a template, okay? So you cannot come here and, and insert your age here. This is not allowed, okay? This is, this is an action that you must not take. So first of all, you need to create a copy of your form and then you can fill, and then you can fill in your information, okay? So maybe you're wondering, why am I saying all of this? What does it have to do with programming at all? So I came up with this example because I wanted to create a real life example of what a class is, okay? What a class and what an instance of a class is. So here I'm gonna make this disappear. There you go. And now I have this rule that I've def that I've defined here. So this is what it means in real life and this is what it means in programming. 
please know that this is an example I came up with, so you're not gonna maybe you're not gonna find this on the internet. And what I'm doing here, I'm just I'm pairing up what it is in real life with what it is in programming. So a form in real life would be something that we call it in programming as a class. So this is just a template with a bunch of fields that I can fill but I cannot fill in the template. Okay, so for me to fill this information, I must create a copy of my form, which in programming is called instance of a class or maybe an object of a class. So this is the equivalent of making a copy of your form, okay? And inside the form, you have those form fields. So this is fi th those are fields that you can fill the information in, right? In this case, we have six of those. And uh, in programming, those are called the variables of a class. Okay, so how do I create this uh, copy of a form or maybe this instance of a class in C Sharp? This is nothing but a variable, okay? So, so let's say we have a class or maybe a form that is called person information. So this is the name of our form. If you want to create a copy of this form in C Sharp, what we have to do is this is nothing but a type of variable right now. As is an integer, a float, a bool, or maybe an array of, of some kind of type. But this is nothing but a type. So once I define a form, this is now a type. So as int bool float etc. Okay, so this is a type. And I can create a variable of this type. So for me to make a copy, what we also call an object, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna create a variable of this type. And how do I do this? It can have uh, an access type, so let's say that this uh, variable is public. It's going to be of this type, because I'm making a copy of this specific class or this form. So person form, person information, sorry. Now I have to give this uh, this variable a name, or maybe this, this copy of a form, I need to give it a, a, a unique name. Let's say that I'm calling it P, okay? And to create this copy, I need to say that P is equals to a new person. I'm not going to fill this in. So let's say that, th that this thing means person information. I'm not going to be able to fit this in uh, the space I have here. And to end this, I need to open parentheses, close parentheses, and insert a semicolon here. So, what this line means, it means that I'm creating a copy of a form. In other words, an instance of a class, okay? And now, see that I have my form here. Let's say that this is the copy I've just made. So this is the equivalent of P because my variable is called P. So once I create this copy called P, I can go inside this form and fill my information in. Okay? So this is P, which is equivalent of, of a copy of person. I'm not going to fill it again, so sorry for that. Let's say that this is person information, okay? Which is uh, a template or uh, the master form, right? So this is a template um, and hopefully this makes sense to you. This is something that I came up with and this is the easiest way that I found so far to explain you to explain you what a class is and what objects of a class are. In general terms, the thing that beginners struggle the most with is an object of a class.
Sometimes understanding a class is fine, you just have a bunch of attributes that you can fill in later. But most of people, they don't realize that they have to create an object of that class to fill that information in. Because this is the equivalent of making a, a, a template or a master form. You can fill in inf your information in a template, okay? So in order to fill in your information, you have to create uh, that copy of a form, which is equivalent to creating an object of a class. So this is what I want you to understand. This is very important. So this is what we did here. We created that copy that we called P because now we're kind of mixing real life and programming together. We have to give our form a name. I called it P and P is nothing but a copy of my form which is called person information. Okay. A every kind of form that you create inside of C sharp and now let's say in terms of programming every class that you create in C sharp has to have a unique name as well as a variable inside your script, right? So since the beginning of our lectures on programming, we've been creating um, quite a lot of forms, right? We've created forms for variables, we created forms for functions. Any new lesson that I taught you, we've been introducing or creating a new form, but we didn't have to make a copy of it because that action of dragging our script onto a game object is already the action of creating a copy of our form or a copy of our class. Because you notice that we were able to fill our information um, in the inspector of that game object. And since we're, we were able to fill our information in, that means that that script was not the template itself. It was already a, a copy of our template. Okay? So maybe it didn't make sense to you at first. Hopefully now it's making. So any script that you create in C Sharp in Unity is nothing but a form, is nothing but a class, because you can read uh, at the beginning of our script, it says public class, then it has a name, and it has a body, right? So this is nothing but our template, or the equivalent of a form, okay? So in the next lecture, we're going to move on uh, in some programming examples, so we're going to apply these concepts in C Sharp, and it's very important that you pick this deeply, okay? So if you didn't understand any kind of concept, please uh, watch this lecture again because this is one of, as I said, the pillars of object-oriented programming, okay? So this is it for this lecture and I see you in the next one.